Hello and welcome back. So today I have um, a quick, a quick little um, journal for you. And um, next week I will make the um, ephemera to go with it. So I have these handmade paper envelopes, and they are like really cool. Tons of texture, um, and. I actually have four of them, but I'm only gonna use two today. So it's just going to open like this. I'm, I'll have a pocket here. I will use some rice paper for the papers inside, and then it will fold this way. And then I think I'll have two tuck points, maybe one here and one here. And I could have a little clip point here too. I'll, I'll decide that as we go, but this is going to come together so easily. I'm grabbing my trusty Yoohoo. And I'm just going to put a nice layer of glue on. Make sure I've got all of the edges really adhered. And I'm just gonna open this up so I don't accidentally glue that in the wrong place. And then take my bone folder. Just really make sure it's down there and then I'll turn it over. I get a baby wipe here. I don't want it to get all gluey. This is actually a clean mat for me. It's not bad. <laughs> as long as that white paint's coming off. <laughs> okay, I'm going to just make sure that this is down. So now that that's down, I can't have a tuck point there. <laughs> then it won't be glued together. So I'll just have one tuck point here, which is really super cute. So I will do the edges, I think I'm just gonna snip that off. There, just so it's not in the way. I mean, this is a really easy tuck. I'm just going to do right down there with glue. Okay, so that's literally it for structure. Um, if I want this to top part to be the tuck point, um, I should have not glued this part down, but that's okay, it doesn't matter. This can be the front. Okay, so this will be the front cover. It has a cute little tuck in it. And then you open it here, there's a pocket here. Um, again, you know, I can do whatever I want over here. It can be belly bands, it can be pockets, it can be just, um, you know, whatever I want. And then here's the back. So at first I thought this would be the front, but because I was dumb and glued this part all the way down, this is the tuck point now and it's upside down. So I actually kind of think this is a pretty, a pretty cover. So, um, so let's get to the papers inside. So I probably, let's see how many I have here. Seven, so that's 14. I think I'm going to use them all, but they are a little bit big. If I just fold one in half, I think it's a little too big. Yep, yeah, if you look at that. So probably want it to be about maybe here-ish. So I'm going to cut that. And then I'll cut all the rest of them using this as my guide. Let's make sure they're completely lined up here.
Okay, so I've got all of these cut. Let me just see if these are, look at their cut to about, that's perfect. They're cut to eight inches. I love that. And this is about six and a quarter. So I just want to move all that stuff out of the way. I'm just going to lightly mark. It's probably down a little bit more too. I'm just kind of eyeing this up, but. So that's just the center of the the whole thing. And then I'll do about, what did I say it was? It's a little over, it's a little under six and a half. So maybe about here-ish. Let me move it over a little bit. <laughs> pretty good, pretty good. All right, I'm just erasing that. All right, so this is my whole poking book, as you can see. I'm just going to clip these together so that they don't move. And I'm going to set it here. Do I want to make a crease? I don't know. I don't think it matters. Okay, so let me grab my awl. And I'm just going to gently work it through that hole. All right, I've got one hole. And the other two I'm just going to, I guess I could, I guess I could measure. Maybe do an inch from the top. And an inch from the bottom. Same thing here. Just gently with your all. They're a little off. That's okay though. Not a big deal. They, they still fold the same. So no big deal. So let's move my little poking hole book. Take this here. And I'm going to take this off just so I can make sure that I have this lined up the way I want it to. And then I'm going to take the awl and gently poke it through my cover here. Great. Make sure they're all lined up. There we go. All 
So now I'm just clipping it all together so I don't have to worry about it moving at all. And then I have this really pretty, like, uh, I don't know, golden. I don't know what color this is. Um, I'd call it gold. Kind of matches. I don't know. I just thought it was pretty. And I'm going to do one, two. I probably only need three, but I'm going to do four times the length of the book just in case. Grab my needle. Just a really simple stitch here. I'm gonna go in the middle. Come out through the top. Pull it tight here. <laughs> Coming all the way through. Probably got way too much. I was thinking about doubling up the thread, but you don't need to for this book. Go back through here, so then you've got your whole back is complete. Okay, pull it tight. And I just want to make sure that this comes underneath here so I can tie a knot. There we go. So I've got one on each side. Tie a little knot there. I'm going to do two. Cut them a little shorter, but I like them like that. And then I'm going to make a ruler in there. So I didn't fold pre-fold the pages, so I just want to make sure it's Nice and tight. Adorable. You can see this hole is off, but that's no big deal. I'll just, I'll put something over it or next to it so you can't even see it. But very cute. Let me just take my bone folder and go this way. So you can nestle them ahead of time or you can do it afterwards. Let's do this on both sides. Now I've got a little tuck pocket here, which is so cute. Got the back and the front. Adorable. That's so easy. Let's just start to embellish a little bit. Um, and then next week I will do all of the ephemera and quick and easy. So much fun. Well, I found this transfer set that I kind of like. I like these colors together. I'm wondering if I can put the whole thing on. That would be crazy. I'm just gonna hold it, hold it over. Otherwise I'll cut them out. But the reason why I kind of want to put the whole thing on is because they have all these splatters around them. I don't want it to touch. Oh, I kind of like that. Kind of like that. There's a baby butterfly there. I want him on.
I love this. So I just really, really gently took my finger and tucked under, I don't even know if you can see a little bit, just tucked under the transfer that went over our little pocket here. But this is so pretty. These colors are absolutely perfect for this. I love it. Love it. So let me just kind of dig through this set here and see what else we have. I mean, I don't normally do full-on sets of things, but these colors are so good. There's one that's just ink spots, which I don't think I'll use for this. But this one has words. This one is pretty. I feel like I want to put a piece of paper over this, but I don't necessarily want to cover up this tuck. This little pocket, it's kind of cute. And of course I have these, oh, these are so pretty. So, I love these, they're just so fun. They have the ink blots all over the place, which I just think are so adorable too. Like just how pretty this is. And all of it. It's all pretty. <laughs> what should I use? Thinking about doing paper there, so. What if I just did? I wonder if I have any jelly prints with these colors. And if not, maybe I'll make some. Maybe I'll make some a gel print to go here. To kind of, um, I don't know, just a pop of color maybe. I do love... to decide where I want this if I want it on the inside or maybe I'll just do this on the back because on the inside maybe I'll get some more things happening here maybe like a a band um, or a pocket so I think that's what I'll do I'll do this on the back in the exact same way I just did I might cut this one though because This one has, it's a little bit more clear where. Sure is making this easy, isn't it? Okay, I really, really think this is beautiful. So look at how pretty this is. I mean, it's just so perfect. The, these colors are perfect with this background. So that's it for today. Next week I'll be back and I'll do something with this pocket. I will do something with this and I will make some kind of something for this and finish the cover. I may just leave it like this or I may get a little word in here or something, but we'll see. We'll see next week. And um, as always, you can find me at my website at janebelanteart.com. Uh, there you will find links to all of my classes and my super popular mixed media club where I show you how I make everything. I do a full book of the month, a project of the month, art journaling, and jelly printing. So I hope to see you there. Thank you so much for stopping in today and I'll see you next week.